All right, uh, Shalom. Shalom. And we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Um, my name is Arna. The brother of Rock. And uh, before, before, before we get started, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kalkadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to all you Akim that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. <clears throat> you know, we're on the way to camp. And basically, the, you know, the. the the gist of the lesson is we're going to continue to do what we do, you know, in the midst of these uh, false allegations from, um, you know, the media, Esau's media, um, you know, this guy named David Wood, it just popped out of nowhere, uh, vocab Malone, we're still out there going to the highways and byways, like I said, we're on the way to camp, so we're going to still do what the Lord commanded us, you know, until the Lord sees it fit for us to be, you know, off the streets, so, um, I, you guys... Yeah, I was going to say, because the scripture tell you, you know, you can't do nothing against the truth, you know, before the truth. Mm -hmm. So by you guys pushing all this propaganda and these false flags and trying to falsely accuse us of, of things that we, you know, that we don't necessarily condone, you know, you're not doing anything but furthering the gospel and uh, the prophecies that have to come to pass, That's right. you know. So you, so why you thinking you're doing something to try to get us off the streets? The, the scriptures speak of a time that when we'll be off the streets mm -hmm. and there'll be a famine of the word. So you're just furthering uh, uh, the prophecies, man. You, you, you're getting the ball rolling on it, so to speak. You're not stopping it. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Matthew 22 and 9. It says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. And that's what we're still doing, man, you know. As, as the Lord sees fit, we're still going out there, we're still doing lessons, we're still edifying, because like the brother said, <clears throat> you trying to put this label on this man, that's still going to wake up Jake, you know, like the scripture that he quoted, um, you, t you can't do nothing against the truth, man, everything that the Lord sanctions, alright, is going to be to our benefit, you know, so we're still going to go out to the highways and byways, and I've noticed <clears throat> Since this happened, of course, you know, these other camps, they don't go out, but they really not saying anything, you know, and they're really not going out, you know, so the, the Lord called us to be soldiers in this thing, man, you know, like it says in 2 Timothy, I think it's second chapter, I believe, but you're supposed to be soldiers in this thing, man, you're supposed to be go out and fishing, you know, for the elect, so that's still a commandment, we're not afraid of what Esau says in the media, uh, we're still going to go out there and, and, and preach this word, uh, rain, sleet, or snow. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, you got anything you want to be in the pool? Uh, Isaiah 58. I'm watching. All right. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, and that's what we're going to continue to do, mm -hmm. you know? Like the brother said, we're on the way to camp now to do that, okay? These guys, have, hey, one monkey don't stop no show, man, all right? Just because you guys are putting out all this, these false allegations and stuff, it's not going to stop us, man, doing, doing what we're called to do, you know, because ultimately, because ultimately, if we are a part of that number, we're going to continue to do it anyway. There's no one... Uh, uh, or nothing that can pluck us out of the Most High's hand, man, and, and keep us from doing uh, the will of the Heavenly Father, right. which is going out, uh, lifting up our voice like a trumpet, showing our people their transgressions. You know, regardless, as long as the Lord see uh, it fit for us to go out and do so, you know, that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, I'll read it again. Isaiah 58, 1, <clears throat> cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. And I got written here in the notes, a trumpet is used as a signaling device in battle or hunting. And we're in a spiritual warfare, man. You That's know, right. We have to deal with these, uh, you know, different uh, elements out here. Deal, deal with, uh, you know, demons. Demons on a daily, man. It's a spiritual battle. We're, we're, we're out here to warn our people of, of the calamities that's coming here, man. You know, it's not going to be any... Uh, <clears throat> prosperous times coming soon to America, man. You know, this place is, is morally finished. You know, people are trying to celebrate Christmas, but that spirit is dead. There was a report that was on uh, um, Blacklisted News that said 
Americans are lonely, depressed, and miserable. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're, our, our people still see this as, as a way to, uh, you know, make a come up, but we're telling them otherwise, man. And a lot of our people are going to be the ones that's going to come up against us, man. Yeah. With these slander campaigns, the brother, um, <clears throat> the brother from uh, South Carolina, the brother uh, Anak Zakbar did a lesson on that. You know, this guy named Roland Martin, because you know a lot of jakes have a platform to push out news, and they're gonna push out a lot of slander because they're doing the, the work of the father of the devil, man. Right. So you know, expect for a lot of Jake just to come up and you know say what they gotta say, man. But it doesn't negate the fact that this devil still got concentration camps, you know. And different uh, re-education camps, guillotines. They just had a uh, guillotine that was on the back of a uh, Miami p a police squad squad car. Damn. So that's what we out here trying to tell our people, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we still out here. We're not we're not gonna shy away because uh, Esau got some slander. And then on top of that, with this whole uh, Jersey shooting, there was no obituaries for these people, man. There wasn't no uh, RIPs or nothing like that. No funerals. All right, so it goes to show you it, it was set up, man. That's right. So the truth is always gonna uh, prevail, you know. You know over over the evil, man. You know. You know uh, what the scripture description acts where it said, "If this be a man, oh yeah, we get yeah, that. it yeah. will come to naught." Yeah, come because on. like like we continue to stress, this is the Most Highest program, man, and nothing you can do or say can uh, change the narrative. You know what the Lord wants to happen, or you know, as it is written, you know, for it to happen. You know. Mm -hmm. Now, if this was of men, like everything that you know, in the in the past, like <coughs> the Black Panther movement, you know, uh, uh, Black Wall Street, uh, those Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. you know, those type of movements uh, were of men, and they came to naught. Mm -hmm. You know. You put out certain things in the media and the heat on you know, those different groups, like it is on the Hebrew Israelites right mm -hmm. now. They're off the streets, yeah. you know. They 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 done threw the attire away, mm -hmm. you know. They, they they tucked in the bed somewhere and just being a normal everyday American citizen, right. you know, trying to fall off the radar, so to speak. Right. But this is not of men, man. This is of Yahweh Shai, and we're gonna continue, you know, to uh, to push the word, man. You got it. Yeah, God. This is uh, Acts chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Mm -hmm. Verse 39. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. Hey, plain and <clears throat> simple, man. No matter what you do or you portray, you put out in the media... You're not going to overthrow this, man. Mm -hmm. All right? This is the Lord's program, man. And he's just using us, you know, uh, uh, to, to get the uh, the movie or the script uh, reenacted. Okay? You got something you want to expound? Um, yeah, because you're basically, basically, the Most High set you up. All right? And basically, you're fighting against the Most High. So what, what's the consequence for that, man? Right. You know, we know, we, we know the consequence for Esau, man. He's just further and adding to that tab of him going into hardcore slavery, man, which is is going to happen. You know, it's, it's bound to happen, man. But uh, <clears throat> you can send different Christians and slander campaigns, and we're starting to see the true nature of these Christians, man. They yeah, want yeah. blood. <laughs> right. Just how, like, they were slaughtering uh, people during the Crusades and uh, their doctrine of discovery. They had that same spirit. There's nothing new under the sun, man. They want blood. Cause they've been figured out to be to be a lie, so now they want to come up against us. But they they want to see us six feet deep. They want they want our head under the guillotine, so to speak, man. Mm -hmm. You know, not knowing the most I got a trick back for them. Just how like uh, Haman had them gallows for Mordecai, and Haman was ended up being the one that got got. Mm -hmm. You know, you know Esau's putting himself into a, a, a trick bag, man. That's right. Uh, uh, Matthew five and ten. Come. See, uh, this is Matthew chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed, verse 11, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you 
and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for, for my sake. Yeah, and that's what's going on right now, okay? So we're in the spirit of continuing in the things in which we will learn and continuing in uh, going out, you know, no matter if the heat is on or the heat is off, man. No matter if it's rain, sleet, hell, or snow, like the brother said, we out here. You know, we ain't going nowhere, Lord willing, until he sees it fit. You know, these guys is not running us off the block. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, uh, Jake out here in the world, yeah, they gonna stand down for their block, man. And we out here in the streets, man, to like, like we brought out, you know, to uh, show our people their transgression and to lift up our voice like a trumpet, man. All right. So all this, all the reviling and the persecution, you know, we we know what we signed up for. So now that shit hitting the fan, you know. There ain't no time to back out, man. Right. If the Lord keep that spirit on you. But um verse 12. Alright, verse 12, Matthew 5 and 12. <clears throat> Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Hey, hey, plain and simple, man. Rejoice and be ye glad. You know, we, we're not in the spirit of damn, they coming down on this, mm -hmm. you know, this. Not go to camp this Saturday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We 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 rejoice and we exceeding glad because the the ball is getting rolling, man, on these prophecies, and we know that we're that much closer to getting the hell up out of this captivity, man. You got anything else on that? Nah, that was it, bro. All right, um, just to back you up, this is uh, Galatians five, verse twenty two, which says that but the fruit of the spirit is love. You know, continuing in brotherly love. You know. Bonding more together as the days draw near, because you never know, man. When it, when the time of persecution hits, we can very well get separated. Um, it says, <clears throat> peace. You know, not just flashing guns on uh, social media or putting black Hebrew Israelites as your title for videos. You know, conducting yourself in a in a, in a king and priestly like manner when you're out in public. You know, using using wisdom in situations. All right, being peaceable amongst all men. Right. All right, uh, long suffering. You know, being long suffering. Uh, you know, waiting for the Lord to return. You know, not wavering, not not faltering. Uh, gentleness, goodness, and faith, man. But the one I want to focus on is joy. Is because <clears throat> it's a joy to go out and do this work. You know, sometimes we have uh, not might 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 not feel too well, might be sick. You know, stomach ache or whatever might be catching hell from the job or your rib or children or whatnot. But it's still joyful to bring out this word. It's that same entry level zeal that you that you have when you first learn the truth, man. And so we're joyous of the times that we're in, man. You know, this ain't a time to uh, hang our heads down, man. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna keep doing the same thing. We're gonna um, keep going to camp, putting up lessons. You know, because the, the, it don't stop past uh, uh, the internet. Right. You know, because you could be in a uh, concentration camp preaching the word, man. Right. You can be out here in the, in the wilderness preaching the word, man. Right. You know, it don't stop just because a, a camera stopped rolling, man. Exactly. The scriptures say you got to be a, a Jew inwardly. And that's where a lot of guys get confused at because they think it's about wearing your fringes in public and then telling everybody about the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. So, it becomes a time where, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be joyful, man, because we're one step closer to being in the kingdom of heaven, this whole American uh, setup, walking on concrete and looking at chemtrails and right. driving through the hood and you know all that stuff—that's gonna be over with, man. Right. And any person in their right mind would want would want the kingdom of heaven, man. But exactly. That's one of the things that you know we focus on, you know, just just being joyful because our salvation is nearer than uh, when we believe. That's right. <clears throat> so uh, you got any more precepts or? That's it, bro. I ain't have nothing else. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just a little quick in transit to the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yon Shah. We're just going to keep doing it, continue to do what we do. You know, preach the word in season, out of season. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Esau got a slender campaign. We're still going to do what we do. Right. So, uh, you know, once again, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying. We're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Yon uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to you. I out there that's pushing this truth. Truth, sincerity. Until the next time, Shalom. Shalom.